Hello, this is Talk To Me Tuesday and it is the 22nd of March 2016 um, This is Vicky and this is my second time of recording because my first video once again failed to record any sound so now my husband has rescued my computer and hopefully made it so that it has sound I'm hoping, fingers crossed um, and yeah so hopefully you'll be able to hear this one um, I will try and cut it down a bit because I did waffle a heck of a lot in the last one. I have not done a huge amount of crafting in the last week. I tried to film a video for you guys last week. I had the same sound issue um, where I uploaded and it didn't record the sound. Um, and I just ran out of time to upload again. Um, I had, We went to the Isle of Wight at the weekend, um, which is just a small kind of island down off the south coast. Um, it's kind of a, a, a bit of a place where it's kind of stuck in the 1970s, 1980s. It's it's all a little bit random, but we took the kids there because you go over on the ferry and it's just a nice trip. And we went to a fantastic um, park on the second day, which had loads of activities and toboggans and slides and wonderful things. So um, I didn't get any sewing done. And then um, yesterday, my daughter, my four year old, came down with um, chicken pox. So this is now, I knew it was coming because <laughs> Harry had had it two weeks ago. So Hannah has had it, has it now. Um, so yeah, my sewing time is quite slim this week because um, she normally, she would be at preschool and that's when I sew. And uh, she's not at preschool, she's at home, which is lovely. Um, she's not at all being demanding. <laughs> we are due to go to Harry Potter Studios on Saturday we are still going to go my husband and i are going to go and the kids are going to stay here with my older brother um because hannah won't be uh, past the infectious stage of the chicken pox so i don't really want to drag her around the studios um and my son has decided he'd rather stay here he's only six he's seen the first film but not really that into it um so it actually makes a lot more sense because it means i'll be able to go and enjoy it for me um yes so things i can show you is i finally made um this which is like this it's a, a bible cover um for my bible and i just found um, a pattern on uh pinterest and just sort of copied it and made it my own so i put pockets on mine so that you can put um, a pen and a notebook and leaflets or what have you in there. Um, I used my kind of swirly gold galaxy fabric which I love. It's just the most amazing turquoise blues. Um, it has a button closure and then inside um, usually there's one ribbon I have sewn in six pieces of ribbon mostly because I always have more than one place marked in my bible at a time because <laughs> yeah you know different things for different times so I made myself that so it means when I do go to Bible studies I'll just have everything in a bit more of a compact um, format so I made that and the other thing that I made because my sojo has been missing in action for the last few weeks um, I took one of the jelly rolls that Susie Quilt sent me and I found a pattern on Missouri Star Quilt Company which was for this tube um, pattern and I made this quilt top in the weekend so let's see if I can get you a proper let's go that way so it's that is the quilt so it's basically um, you sew st strips together uh, I think she does four, I did six because I wanted really big blocks and then once you've got your set of six strips sewn you um, cut squares out of them and then you lay the squares one with the strips going vertically and one horizontally and then you slice um, you, so you put them right sides together sew around the outside and then slice into them to make half square triangles and then you can basically twist them any way you want and sew them back together so essentially this is what one block looks like you get your strips going that way and then down here you've got strips going this way, oh, this way. 
Um, so yes, I made that, and I, my plan with this one is to put a plain, quite a chunky plain border on it. I'm not sure in what colour. I'm kind of thinking about going for either a yellow or a periwinkly blue colour. I don't know yet. Um, and then I've got a few strips and bits left over, including some of the off cuts from my strip sets. So I'm going to do um, a piano, a thin piano keys type border, probably like that kind of size. So it will have a plain border, then that border, and then the binding, um, and that will hopefully go off and be a Christmas present for one of my sister-in-laws. Um, and I did do a little bit of fabric shopping. I um, I've been trying. One of the reasons my so Joe has gone. I can't remember if I said it. If I have, I'm sorry. But um, I've recorded this video like three times now, and I can't remember if I said it last week, if I said it the week before, or what happened. I really wanted to do a labyrinth um, quilt. David Bowie was obviously passed away um, this year, and I love that film. He was my first kind of sci-fi fantasy crush um, I bought the soundtrack I just I'm, I just love that film um, it's one of those childhood films for me I wanted to do um, a memorial to him you know something to capture that film in my fandom way um, and I've I'm really good I'm okay I'm not really good I'm okay at copying a pattern what I can't seem to do because I have no creative ability to draw um, and I can't seem to create something from my head and put it down on paper and then make it out of fabric. So I came up with this idea. I've been playing around with it for weeks. It was just, it was like going from never having made a quilt pattern or a paper piece pattern or an applique pattern to the most complicated in the world thing with Photoshop and um, removing colors and uh, just got, it just all got a bit too much so i've decided to sort of pull it back a little bit my plan is to do um silhouettes with uh, <coughs> a wall hanging with silhouettes of the characters and i'm going to quilt the background like a labyrinth um so that the quilting this the applique will be on top but the background will be the labyrinth uh, that's my plan at the moment so when i went shopping i was looking for kind of black dark fabrics to that would kind of lend themselves to that so I, I got this one which is just a black dotty kind of bubbly fabric it's called bump in the night which i love and it's lewis and irene but i don't know if you can get lewis and irene in america i don't I haven't got a clue and then i found this fantastic ombre fabric uh, which is like greys and silvers through to blacks and I just I just really liked it so I picked that up probably used bump in the night for the silhouettes but that was just cool to me that one and then this I got for the background of my design which is like a green it's almost like a batik and it might not be the background I might end up with something completely different because um sorry I can hear my husband talking in the lounge which is unusual it might be a different fabric because this might be a bit too busy because it's quite mottled. Oh, sorry, my daughter's downstairs, bless her. So I need to go and sort that out, so I'll cut this quick. Um, yes, yeah, so I got those fabrics and a couple of blanks. But anyway, um, I will leave it at that because otherwise I'll be waffling for another 20 minutes. Um, hopefully this video works and it will replace my old video and I will catch up with you all next week once I've been to Harry Potter World. Sorry it's all been a bit choppy and changey and quite bouncy I've noticed. Anyway, see you next week. Bye.